So a bunch of uh, Black Lives Matter people and uh, SJWs and shit have decided that they're angry about the attacks in Paris, not for the reason that most people are angry. Uh, they're angry because it's taken attention away from them. Oh no, they have to remedy that situation right away uh, with their new hashtag. Hashtag fuck Paris. Yeah, bitch. World cares about that shit? Uh-uh. I don't care. Fuck Paris, bitch. Hashtag fuck Paris. The problems of French whites pale in comparison to what happened to Jamar. Hashtag justice for Jamar. For those of you wondering who the fuck Jamar is, uh, I got a cheat sheet here. 24-year-old Jamar Clark died Monday night after he was taken off life support. Clark was shot by police last weekend when they were called to a domestic dispute at the home where Clark and his girlfriend lived. As EMTs tried to put the girlfriend in an ambulance, police say a struggle broke out with Clark, who was interfering with emergency workers. So was she going in the ambulance because he beat the shit out of her? And when they say interfering with EMTs, was he trying to beat the shit out of the EMTs? I mean, if that's the circumstances, I'm all for Jamar being shot. Sorry. Uh, if there's some other set of circumstances where Jamar is in a cast in a more favorable light, I'm willing to look at that too. But uh, whatever happened to Jamar, whether he was shot justifiably or whether it was, you know, just another instance of police brutality and unnecessary force, either way, Jamar as a problem does not compare to a massive terrorist attack in France with 130 plus dead you know, perpetrated by ISIS and potentially setting off uh, a war in which the entire world might have some skin. So, yeah, that kind of seems like the bigger issue. You know, I don't know. I'm, I, maybe I'm just a fucking lunatic, but it, it seems like maybe that's more important than whether or not Jamar was shot for a good reason or not. Hashtag fuck Paris because they helped America invent slavery. Okay, I'm just gonna let you know, for you know, to spare you future embarrassment, slavery existed before America and before France. I mean, obviously those geographic regions existed. Might have looked a little different, but they were there. Slavery was still happening. There's there's slavery in the fucking Bible. In the Bible, they're talking about fucking slavery. Alright? And even before that, I'm sure there's always been fucking slavery. You know, of course it has occurred to people throughout history, man, there's a bunch of hard-ass work to do. Ha, <sighs> I don't really want to do it. Hey, what if I go capture people from that weaker tribe and then we like take them and we bring them back here and we make them do all the really hard work and give them like shit for food and just beat the shit out of them if they ever question us. You know, human beings are pretty fucking evil creatures on some level. So yeah, we thought of that shit. You know, it, it wasn't just invented like America came, like George Washington sitting around, you know what would be good? No. Okay? That's fucking nonsense. Here's a news uh, agency, News24, uh, tweeting, World wounded, angered by Paris terror attacks. And uh, to that, Ben Moses replies, At News24, this is a 1922 official French stamp. And there's a stamp showing uh, all of these Moroccan Muslims beheaded with their heads uh, sitting on rocks. Hashtag fuck Paris! Yeah, so I guess in 1922, the French, according to this guy at least, had a stamp with a bunch of dead people's heads on it. I've tried to corroborate it. It seems like that is the case. So I assume that this guy understands then that going to other people's countries and decapitating them and video evidencing it not video evidence in this case, photographic evidence, but capturing it in media and then spreading it around is wrong. Wow, I'm glad you agree with that because that's exactly what fucking ISIS is doing right now. They're beheading people and putting it out there for the world to see so that everyone shits their pants in fear and trembles before the might of ISIS. Oh, ISIS, please. Please, ISIS, don't kill me. We'll do anything! Any, any civil rights I have that my government needs, take them! Take them! Just kill ISIS before they get me! <laughs> no 
one gives a fuck what France did in 1922. You know why? Because it was 1920 fucking two! Were you alive in 1922? No. Was I alive in 1922? No. Are any of the people who even knew these motherfuckers beheaded on these rocks still alive? Probably fucking not. And if they are, they're so fucking old, they can barely fucking remember it. A little bit of history on France here. Just so we can see where these Black Lives Matter people are coming from. Not because it makes any sense, or we have to agree to it in any way, but just so we know what it is. In the Atlantic slave trade, the I'm just gonna, I'm reading this, all right? I have this all written out. I'm just gonna fucking read it. I'm not gonna try to hide that I'm reading something. In the Atlantic slave trade, the French enslaved four times as many Africans as America did. And France was essentially the last country in Europe to ban slavery. It's hard to say when exactly slavery stopped in France, because even when it was illegal, it still continued for decades. It probably ended around 1870. And then the French have a troubled history with Haiti. The French took over the country in the 1600s and ruled until a revolt threw them out in 1804. And basically, France said to the Haitians, All right, you can have your fucking country back, okay? You can have your stupid fucking country back, but you have to pay us 150 million gold francs. And only then will we acknowledge your independence. You know, so France comes to their country, steals it in the 1600s. Couple hundred years fucking later, the Haitians want it back. Or 150 years later, whatever. They want it back. They have a revolt. They get kick the French out of there, but the French are like, okay, we'll leave. But only way we're going to stay gone is if you give us some money. Uh, now, the French, being the kind-hearted souls they were, eventually lowered it to a mere 90 million francs. Gold francs. And uh, Haiti tried to get its money back in 2003. They asked for 21 billion U.S. dollars, uh, which I guess they said is the equivalent of 90 million gold francs. I don't know where they got that calculation from. I don't know if it's accurate. Okay, so the French were really bad about the slave trade thing. They had more slaves than any other fucking country. Whatever. Um, and they, they treated Haiti like shit. Fine. Legitimately evil things France has done. Despicable, to be condemned, whatever. It was a long time ago. No one living today in France had any part of any of those things. Why should they be held accountable for things their ancestors did when they do not think the same way their ancestors did? You don't think the same way your ancestors 200 fucking years ago did. No one does. No one does. We live in a vastly different world than they did. And we're vastly different people with vastly different sensibilities. Uh, there was a, a rapper by the name of Knowledge who put out a song called Fuck Paris uh, on top of just being stupid. And I hate to use this word, but offensive. It was also just a really fucking terrible song. I mean, first of all, the, the fucking music is so loud that you could barely hear his fucking voice. And even when you can, the lyrics are just insipid drivel. And here's, uh, I mean, I don't know if I should play it, but here's the chorus. So fuck Paris. Fuck Paris. Paris. Fuck Paris. Fuck Paris. Mm. But don't worry, folks. Just in case you, uh, you thought it's all bad news, there is a more reasonable middle ground, as expressed by this girl. We can remember the tragedy in Paris and still remember hashtag Mizzou. We are capable of multitasking. Both situations are equally messed up. Hmm. Yeah, both situations are equally messed up. Alleged racism on a college campus. Pretty messed up. Massive terrorist attack where 130... People are dead, and it might lead to a larger conflict in which even more people will die. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's about equal, right? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Here's some people who deny that Black Lives Matter did this. Uh, Sean King. Several widely shared conservative articles are claiming hashtag Black Lives Matter activists created the fuck Paris hashtag. Just lies. Uh, you know, I guess that's possible. Doesn't really seem to be the case, but... If you have some evidence of this, present it and uh, it will be appraised. No real Black Lives Matter activist or organizer would day fuck Paris 
We are all in this together. This is media mix crap. Ah, the no true Black Lives Matter activist fallacy at work. Um, you know, this is, this is what happens with groups, I'm afraid to tell you, but it, it just, this is just always the case. You join a group because they champion some cause you agree with, and you're like, fuck yes! Group! We are a group, and together as a group we will get things done! And then before you know it, you start hearing whispers of people in your group doing stuff you don't really like, you know? Did you hear that, you know, some sect of our group is gonna vote for Donald Trump for president? And you're like, what? Our, our group? There's people in our group that are voting for Donald Trump? Wow. Yeah, did you hear that someone from our group said that rape is okay? It's like, what? Let me see the context. Holy shit, yeah, he fucking did. Shit. But, you know, he's not really in the group. That's not how the group is. I'm sorry, every group is like that because every time there's a group, there's always going to be assholes to join the group because there's always going to be assholes in every group. So you got to own up to your assholes. I'm sorry. Just be glad that the Black Lives Matter assholes are just saying some douchebag things and tweets. The Islamic assholes are murdering people and beheading them and, you know, doing lots of gruesome, grisly shit. And, uh... As hard as that is to own up to, I think that moderate Muslims do need to say, yeah, these people are practicing our religion. And uh, if you look at the Quran, you can see that there is justification for everything that ISIS has done to be found in that book. It's not a perversion of the religion. It's just a, a different way of practicing it. And that's what's dangerous. Alright, I'm the Amazing Atheist. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace the fuck out.